All right, guys, welcome back. It is Punt Factor. We're jumping into round number two. You know, round one sucked. Um, you know, game one, I just got completely mana screwed. And uh, game two was like an interesting, weird grind. Uh, but they had freaking flying hasty threats. I didn't have, you know, I don't know. Also kind of got mana screwed there, too. I'm pretty sure I ended the game on like four mana uh, and a noble hierarch. And I think it went to like turn 11. So here's to round two. Cheers. Also, by the way, Red Bull Watermelon Edition. Pretty tasty. Definitely tasty jams. Uh, I enjoy it. So, that wasn't the greatest showing for the deck. However, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully it gets better. Um... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is, you know, it, at the end of the day, you know, it's a green white pile. So definitely there are things that it lacks. Um, but, you know, provided you, you do get the, you know, enough mana and you actually draw how you're supposed to, at least in terms of threats and uh, lands. I don't know. I found it does pretty well. So good luck. Have fun. Boom, boom, boom. Exciting times. All right, guys. On the play here, selecting yes. This is a terribly slow hand. I'm going to maul it. This one's a little better. It's weird. I, I never... I never have the problem of like not having enough colored mana. I really don't. Um, do I get rid of a land here? No, I think I just get rid of Eternal. No, get rid of Skyclave. Get rid of Skyclave. Because Eternal Witness at the end of the day can buy us back Windswept Heath if we get into trouble. So depending on what we're up against, I'm going to slam this Voice of Resurgence first. Okay, so it looks like Dredge. So Scavenging News is actually pretty fantastic. Nope, so we have to jam skews, which is fine. There's a Narc Amoeba. And a Loam. Okay, okay. This is this is awesome. I have not played against Dredge for a very long time. So you know, Dredge a bunch. Okay. All the dredges. Take one here. So let's open up their graveyard, shall we? So we are looking at, let's see what we draw here. A noble hierarch. Okay, so they have amalgam. Loam Loam So Dredger I think we're just going to go ahead and attack here Kind of see what they hit 
I'm absolutely not opposed. To blowing up my own Gavini. in favor of eating these amalgams. Although I guess I could have eaten the Narc Amoeba, but I'm just gonna get rid of the amalgams. That was a misplay on my part. But kinda not really though, at the same time, if I would have eaten the Narc Amoeba, I would only have one more eat, with or one more activation with the Skews. And if it kind of got to the point where they were able to get another trigger on their turn, um, those amalgams were going to come back in and I was only going to be able to eat one of them. So that was probably the right play just to get rid of them. There's the ox. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this hurts. Not good. Take two. Yeah, we're just dead. We are just straight up dead zos. Okay, so the ox is a 5-3. You could essentially have three eats, making it a seven, making excuse a seven, go up to 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Do they have, they have a conflagrate in the yard? Which is problematic. I have to get rid of their conflagrate. Good pass turn. I'm gonna have to, once again, go score one of my lands, which is super rad. See if I can put that in a better spot here. We can see what's going on. Okay, so they loan back lands. Blood. Okay, so three blood gas triggers. Blood gas. I hate to do this. We're just not getting the land types that we need. Bloodgast. So now they don't have haste, which is good. Take four. So 
So I can eat thug. Yeah, let me eat a thug. Play. So I'll go down to four. But they're just going to jam in. That's the problem. Like, I almost feel like they're also at 12 cards. I feel like I play Noble. And I leave up one eat where do I pass turn okay so they have merchant of the veil which gives me go to nine eight seven six five mm, this is bad more mana three so this is uh This is a matchup where typically I like to find, I like to accelerate out a Knight of the Reliquary um, and then obviously, you know, crush a Bajuka Bog. Okay, I kind of figured they were going to serve here. So, two, three, four, five, six. They, they have a Confle Great. Block here. We block here. Three, four, five, six. Down to two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I can't do anything. They have their, they have, well, nine, and down to six, three, four, five, six. Okay, so wait. I at least take four. So if I, voice of resurgence, no, I would almost have to skyclave. Yeah, I just don't have enough mana. Because I could essentially block four. Or, I'm sorry, block enough to only take four. Yeah, they just have to swing all in here and I lose. A mana there. Or when I didn't have to blow up my uh, my one land with my ghost quarter would have done it. I mean it would have would have kept us alive. Dude, all you gotta do is swing in. Yeah. Or that. Okay. 
on to game two here. So, God, it's been so long. How did I sideboard against this deck? Knight of Autumn stacks up fairly well. Tracker's too slow. Corsair has a big butt, which is nice. Eternal Witness is good. Skyclave is probably fine. Ish. Um, I could probably go down a Skyclave. Is there anything else I like? I mean, that's pretty rad, right? Kind of protects against Colorful Grade a little bit. Probably get down like a voice. And uh, maybe another. No, let's just do that. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Burrington's probably fine against amalgams. Okay, I don't get to ramp out, um, ramp anything out, but I at least have a couple voices, which are stupid. I have a skews, um, I have a path, and then I do have a knight to bog them. So it's probably fine. If one of these voices was a uh, like a bird or a noble, it would be better. But, meh. Can't win them all. It's fine. Boop, boop, beep, 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 Yeah, nothing is better, though, than, like, Turn one bird, turn two knight, especially off of like a fetch land, just, you know, so the knight's a little bit larger, which is kind of nice. Tell you what, you know, the more, I don't know if it's just an online thing, because I mean, I've been jamming two canopies for a while, but man, do I miss that eighth fetch land in place of a canopy. I really do. I actually probably should have played the canopy out first in case they get, let's say in case they get a creature out here. Lesson's fine. Played the voice first just to, uh, if they had some removal, maybe they would be enticed to remove it. Um, and then that way I can play the skews. Turn three. Um, but I'm absolutely going to get a knight out. So, like, think of this. Right now, if I had my knight out on the board, now going into my turn, it, it doesn't have summoning sickness. Um, it absolutely crushes. Like, it really crushes. Because now it's like... I just play whatever. I play a skews, I play a voice, I pass turn. You know, they go ahead and do whatever they're going to do. And then I just bajuka bog them with everything on the stack. So these prized amalgams are a bit intense. Let me read this ox. So it's a little bit. I think I just get. I don't want to shock myself here. I think I do want to get the night out though.
Do I get a plains or do I get a forest? The forest is nice because it gets me more eats without having to hurt myself. But the plains, I think I get the forest. And here, honestly, I could have held the voice back just to block. Um, well, I guess they don't, they don't really have a hasty, a hasty threat. So let's see if they whiff on their dredge here. Which I doubt they will. No. Okay. So they're, they're bringing in a bunch of stuff. Like too much stuff. At least they can't play ox. So they got what? Two narcos, three prized. Creeping chills so brutal too. And a blood guest. Oh, how many blood gas? What? Hmm, that hurts. You got it. You got it. Understand. Go ahead. There we are. Okay. Can eat the ox. At least. Okay, so upkeep, I'm gonna let them dredge a bunch. And then I'll, reason being, so I want them to dredge if they whiff, which they did. They can go to their attack if I can get a block out of night and then pump it and then before damage bajuka bog them and then I would be able to eat with scavenging news that would be ideal um, so it just kind of depends on what they're gonna do here It's kind of funny because like blast zone on two like as weird as it sounds oh they have a conflagrate in their yard and I did not eat it that's real dumb I actually might have just lost because of that Yep. Uh, 
I didn't even serve with the team. Why can't I block? Three. I just lose. I'm such an idiot. And the other reason I lose is like, I have to take damage from this freaking horizon canopy. Because, like, if this were just anything, I could, like, if this were a forest, I could just crack it, eat a stinkweed. I cannot believe I let that conflagrate go in the, I didn't even see it. It was too late when I saw it. See, I told you guys I make a lot of stupid mistakes. And also, I am incredibly rusty at playing magic. Like, I haven't sat down to play a league in, it's been an incredibly long time. I'm a little upset that I'm actually putting up such horrible, like such a horrible showing. Um, but yeah, there's no way, there's no way for me to really get out of this, unfortunately. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a second, young Padawans. I have a path to exile in my hand. So then I totally screwed up because now I lose my scavenging news, which is incredibly unfortunate. Wait, no, I don't. We're going to one, boys. So let's gain some life here, shall we?
I hate to fetch down to one. So these are going to freaking... Okay, I need to gain some life here. Can't really fetch. Um, oh my God, this is driving me nuts. <laughs> what a disaster, guys. So, uh, now I actually think I lose because I can't deal with the Narc Amoebas. Um, actually, wait a minute, because I can activate night. But then I lose on the ground. And I kind of need to activate night to Bajuka Bog here. Jesus, this is a disaster. Um, I might just have to like force this though. Why don't we see? Why don't we see what transpires here? That's a thing. Yeah. I don't think I can do it, guys. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> um, I can't fetch. I can't use that. Uh, let's see. Boom. Honestly, just like I'm at a loss. I mean, yeah, there's no way around this one. Let's see here. 
I am giving it one hell of a go, guys. I have five minutes left, but you know what? If I win this one, if I win this one, that is enough of a victory. Three, so I have no more force in the deck at all. Um, let's gain some life. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Think they have any more any more anything um, so if I go one two let's blow this up let's go ahead and get no basics okay okay Should have known that. Now I actually lose. That's unfortunate. three so I have to fetch but I don't have any basics yeah that's it that was fun That was stupid. Uh, cool opponent, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. There was probably some stuff we could have done, but eh, whatever, guys. Uh, horrible showing is what it is. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I enjoyed... I always enjoy playing against Dredge. Um, like a ton. 
but yeah, that was just a that was just tough. Um, I'm finding when I'm playing these online games, man, I am like, I am getting th this Horizon Canopy Jazz, man. If it was just a a basic land, um, or I mean a fetch land, or uh, I don't know, I feel like I'm missing some colors. I've been playing some interesting stuff that I haven't seen in a long time. Like, I don't even remember the last time I played Dredge. It had to have been, well, it was a while ago. Um, but here's what we're going to do. All of my, like, one punt factor fan, and I wouldn't even call you a fan. You're more of like a, hey, I'm taking a poop, and I see a Value Town video, so I'm going to watch it, but you don't really like the channel or the way I play because quite honestly I suck but I tell you what the, this league is going to be my let's get my feet wet league two is when I will actually make adjustments to the sideboard maybe some tweaks to the main board and uh then we'll go from there hopefully you enjoyed it stay tuned for league match three